Okay, so what I want to do now is create a app model. So when I click on this, I want a model to appear with the list of the contacts coming from the Firestore database. So coming from here, all of the users that get listed on here. So let's go ahead and do that. So in the components folder, I'm just going to create a new folder in here called app model. And in here, I'm going to create a file index.tsx and refce. This is the app model component. And this is a react.fc and what i want to do is create this model and make it reusable so what we'll be doing is importing the model coming from material ui so if we check the docs from material ui if we scroll down we have a section where it talks about models just here so this is the type of model we want to create as you can see this is what we will be doing so if we go back in our app we're going to have an outer div and then an inner div inside here and in, this is going to be the toggle for the whether the model is open or not so on click is going to be equal to handle open which we need to create some use state for that and then we're going to render a icon that we click on so we will pass that in as props and let's close that div off so the props we will receive are is the icon as the first prop after that what i want to do is just bring in my code so essentially what I'm doing is bringing in model, which is coming from material UI. The box is coming from material UI. And then what I want to do is first of all, render a title, which comes from the props as well. So that will be the title being rendered within the model. So everything in here is the model. So anything, everything inside this div here. And then we got an extra div, so we don't need that. And we need to create use state for the open and the handle open and handle close functionality. So let's create that now. So essentially what it is, is the use state of open and set open. Handle open will basically set open to true and handle close will set open to false. I also need the box styling. So I'm going to create that in a separate helper file. So helper.ts. And if we go into material UI documentation, it gives you the box style anyway. So we can just copy that, which is essentially this over here. So if we go in our code here and I just want to export this like so, and it's going to be called box style. So now all I need to do is import this box style in from the helper. And now I now need to render the app model somewhere. So passing in the icon and the title. And I also want to pass in the model type because we want it to be reusable so we can handle the model children inside here. So first of all, I'm going to create props. So type props is equal to icon title model type. And then we just need to pass this in here like so. So the icon is going to be a JSX element because the icon is coming from material UI which is essentially a component, the JSX element, and then the title will be a string and a model type will be a string. So that's fine. So we need to then import app model onto the sidebar header component. So let's find that component in the sidebar, sidebar header. So instead of the chat outline icon, it's going to be the app model like so. But what will happen is we will pass in the relevant props. So the props for app model is the icon, which is the chat outlined icon. The title is a string of all contacts. And this model type is the chat, or you could call it contacts, whatever you wish. So now that is there. So now if I save, and now if I click onto here, we now have a model working on the page, which says all contacts. So now what we need to do is fetch all of the user information in here. So so now what I want to do in here is fetch all of the user information, but we need to add some users into our user database. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to quickly add some users and be right back. So if we go into our cloud Firestore, all we want to do is add a document. So add a document, auto ID in here, and then I'm just going to add another user in. So I've got a user of Yoda from Star Wars. So this is a email address. We want to add in the name, which is Yoda. We want to add the photo, which I will get. And then last online is a timestamp. So this will be of type timestamp. You can put whatever you want in here. I'm just putting in some random time in there. And then the last one is the UID. So this is the structure of what we will have in our database when we create a new user. And it is the same when we do that 
and we are doing that already. So now we have two other users other than myself. So we should be able to fetch Darth Vader and Yoda into our all contacts model. So going back into our code in here, I've got this function in here, which handles the children of the model, dependent on what model type it is. So we need to create this function. So if I create this function in the helper, so expo const the handle model children, and this will bring in the relevant argument, which is the model type, the contacts and handle close, which is essentially going to close the model. So we need to define these types. The so first off, the icon model type is going to be a type that we need to create. So type of icon model type is a union type and it's not add and edit, it's going to be upload and it's also going to be the chat, which is what we passed in as props. That one's set up correctly and I just want to export it in case it's needed elsewhere in the app. And then the contacts type is essentially going to be this object here. So email, last online, name, photo and UID. So what I'm going to do is declare this in the types.d.ts over here. And I'm just going to bring it at the bottom, which is the contacts type of email string, ID of string, last online is an object, name, photo and UID. So all I will do is put ID as optional because we don't have it in at the moment. So that is the contact type. So if we go back into our helper function, we just need to import this in now, like so, which is there. And then in here, we need to handle something. So I'm going to handle it based on the model type. So switch model type. If it is upload, then we want to return uh, upload model which we can do in here. So upload model. And again, we want to pass in the handle close because that is being passed in from the parent component. So in app model, like so. And then we also want the case for chat, which essentially is going to be the chat model. And we pass in the contacts and the handle close as well. So the default is just going to be a return like that. And then finally, we just need to close it off and we don't need to return anything actually. So. There's a few things we need to do. Upload model is need to be needs to be created and also the chat model. So what I'll do with the upload model is just put it in strings for now. So it just returns that as a string. And then the chat model we need to create inside here. So new file is going to be chatmodel.tsx. And what you can do is you can separate it into subfolders or however you want to have your folder structure. But for this, I'm just going to put it in the same folder and I'm going to do refce. And then in here, I'm just going to put a p tag. This is the chat model. So, and then react.fc in here and save. And I'm going to also create the upload model as well. Upload model.tsx and paste this in. But instead of chat this time, it's just going to be upload like so. And then in the helper, all I now need to do is import it in from the relevant file path. And if I save all and then import, from the relevant file path but what i also need to do i've just realized is i've got gsx in this file but this is only a ts file so let's rename this to tsx because we are rendering gsx in here so now we can import the relevant files that we need and then if we just copy these as they are needed in the relevant model files so chat model will receive these props in here of contacts and handle close like so, and we just need to put a comma in here. And then the upload model will have the handle close in here, like so. And again, we need to define the types for these. So we can do that in a helper file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do uh, index.interface.ts, which will handle all of the types in this app model folder. So first off, we've got this type in here, which we want to handle in the interface file. So paste that in and then we can import this in here. The handle close is going to be of type void. So essentially it's not returning anything. So going to here, we need chat model props and we also need upload model props. So export type of chat model props and chat model props, it takes in contact and handle close. So we already have copied the handle close one. So I just need to copy the contacts one as well, paste them in and import contacts type from the types.d.ts over here. And then I just want to copy this, but this time it's going to be the upload model props. 
And in the upload mode of props, we just need the handle closed this time. So going back in here, we can delete this one. So now we have chat modal props, which is the type that we can import. So that is handled there. And then the upload modal props is handled in here. And then if we go into here, we just need to import handle modal children. And we can see here, there's an error saying string is not assignable to parameter icon modal type. So if we go into modal type, that is a string and cannot find name contacts. So we would need to fetch the contacts. So first of all, I'm going to say const contacts is an array. So that's the contacts. And then the modal type we need to pass in. So now we've got the error of modal type. I just want to double check the prop of modal type is being passed in correctly. So it's either upload or chat. So if I go into the sidebar header component, the modal type is chat. So that is correct and it's a string as well. So that's fine. So if we go into the app model once again, and app model receives icon, title, and modal type. So essentially what I want to do here is change this from a string to icon modal type and then that error should fix itself now which it has done and then contacts we now need to fetch the contacts data so let's go ahead and do that so now what i want to do is fetch contacts in real time so fetch user data user contacts in real time from firestore like so and then we need contacts so i'm going to declare the use state for contacts which is going to be equal to contacts type array and then after that, I'm going to bring in a use effect. So essentially what would happen is the use effect would have an on snapshot of the user's collection, which is coming from our user controller, which essentially is accessing the collection of the Firestore and in particular, the user's collection. So going back into our app model, we need to import the snapshot, which is of type query snapshot and document data. So that is imported up top here, document data and query snapshot. And then now we need to create a get snapshot doc function. And essentially what a get snapshot doc function is, is essentially an object that is going to be returned. So let's go ahead and create that in the user controller. So, so what I'm going to do is create the function. So export function of get snapshot doc. And this takes in a doc, which is of type document data from Firestore. So if I import that. And essentially what will happen is it will return an object of ID of doctor ID and data of doctor data in here. So that is the structure that it will have. So if I go back in app model, all I now need to do is import that in. And now that is all the contacts set. What I now want to do is console log the contacts just to see if we are fetching the contacts in here. So we should be getting three contacts, including the logged in contact as well. So if I go back into the browser in here, it's just loading now. So if we inspect and we want to see in the console, the contacts list. So when I open the model, we now have a list of three contacts in here that is including myself. So we need to filter myself out from here. So let's go ahead and render the UI now. So in the browser, we are getting the contacts in here. So let's delete this console log and then in handle model children, what we now have is access to the contacts. So in the chat model, which is where the contacts are being rendered and passed in as props, all we now need to do is go into here and instead of chat model, this should be called the contact list. So let me just rename this chat model to contact list across the board. So now that is the contact list. If we go into it, we just need to render the UI for the contact list. Now we have access to the contacts. First of all, what I want to do is filter. So contact dot filter. So for each contact dot ID, I want to get access to the one that is not equal to the auth dot current user dot UID, which is essentially all the contacts that are not the same as the logged in user. So that's the first thing we need to do. And I want to do optional chaining here. Then I want to do dot map. And for each contact, I want to implicitly return a div or H1 for now just saying the contact.name in here, just to see if that works. So now if I save, we have an error in here, so we just need to add an extra parentheses in here. And there's an error because we need to add a key to all React children. And this key is going to be the contact.id in here. So now if I save and check the browser, we should have a list of two contacts in here, which is Darth Vader and Yoda, because we filtered out myself. 
which is in the contacts array over here. 